friends welcome to my channel once again in today's video we will learn how you can create a bootable uh, flash drive to install ghost specter windows 11 super light version 23h2 update this operating system is a unique custom version of the windows operating system ghost specter windows is based on official windows release from microsoft but it is tweaked and optimized by a developer known as Ghost Spectre. And it can be installed on an older PC also because Microsoft is quite tough with the requirement for upgrading to Windows 11. And there are a number of limitations to have Windows 11 installed. In most of the cases, you may get an error message that your PC does not meet Windows 11 system requirement. So instead of actual Windows 11, you can install this Windows 11, which will be a light version of Windows without bloatwares or pre-installed softwares and will give you the best performance. So first we will be creating a bootable flash drive uh, for Ghost Spectre Windows 11. And in order to do that, we will require our application that is called Rufus and ISO file of the operating system. I mean, ISO file of Ghost Spectre uh, Windows 11. So I will give you guys the links in the description box. So this is the website from where we can download Ghost Spectre Windows 11 Superlight version. That would be 23H2. Uh, a 64-bit version and if you click on the first link it will take you to this website from where you can download the ISO file so I'll just click on download and you will notice a file will start getting downloaded so it will take some time let it complete and the second thing as I said uh, we will require a utility with the help of which we will create a bootable drive and that is Rufus so I will give you the link for this also and when you go to this website you just need to click on the first link that is Rufus 4.4 exe so there are two files which are being downloaded let them complete so Rufus.exe is already downloaded but we will have to wait till our ISO file downloads completely then only we can use this utility okay so we have uh, both the files downloaded now just go to the download folder so this is uh, an ISO file right now it shows in different formats so I'll tell you how to convert it in ISO and this is the Rufus utility which we will be using to create a bootable USB for this operating system so now we just need to select that file for operating system that is Ghost Spectre and just press F2 on the keyboard then it, it will let you rename it. What we need to do, we need to delete everything which is next to that dot and instead of that you just need to type Z I P zip and press enter. So whatever name you have just put a dot or dot will be there just remove whatever extension is there and instead of that extension type zip and press enter so it will become a zip file you need to click on yes when it asks you are you sure you want to change it and it will become a zip file now you need to just right click on it and click on extract to the the option which has a name the option which has its name in it so it will be extracted to the same folder and uh, we will get an ISO just let it complete it may take a minute okay so we have an ISO file now so just go back and now just double click on this Rufus EXE click on yes on user account control you can now close the download folder now if you have a flash drive connected to your PC it will 
detect your flash drive automatically so i have an i have a usb flash drive which is 8 gb and where it says boot selection just uh, make sure you have disk or iso image uh, selected over there and just click on select so it will ask you to locate your iso file which is in our download folder so just locate your iso file and click on it and click open once you have that file open then on the next screen it will show you volume label so this is nothing but a name you can just uh, leave it like that or you can give it a name so i will just name it Win 11 Ghost Spectre. And simply click on Start. So as soon as you click on Start, on the next screen, you will get these options. You can check them all because if you read them, you'll come to know what they say. It will, the first option will remove requirement for uh, 4 GB plus RAM. Uh, secure boot and TPM 2.0 which is necessary for Windows 11 installation so if you are installing Windows 11 on an older computer so that requirement check part will be skipped second option will remove requirement requirement for an online Microsoft account uh, third option will create a local account with the name you, you will provide it uh, another option set regional option to the same value as this user disable data collection disable bit locker so at least first three options should be checked if you want you can check other three also i'll just check all of them and then click on ok you'll get a warning that all data on device will be deleted so click ok uh, i mean on a flash drive whatever data you have that will be deleted and a new uh, usb bootable device bootable drive will be created so now just let this process complete it will take a long time okay so the process has been completed and we have successfully created bootable drive for win 11 windows 11 ghost specter now we can click on close so you can use this flash drive to install windows 11 ghost specter so that's all i wanted to show you in this video thank you very much for watching please click the like button if you like the video and subscribe to my channel you have a great day. Bye-bye.